If we have a set of uh, class intervals and frequencies like we had for our weight data, um, one option for representing that was the histogram that we created. Uh, another option would be to create a, a pie chart. Um, we could do that by, again, calculating out uh, relative frequencies. And these would be percentages, so we'd have to add our total number of frequencies and divide each of these by that to find a corresponding percentage. And then we could use that to create a pi uh, pie chart. And that pie chart would end up looking something like this. And as you can tell, uh, this is really hard to read, right? <laughs> I mean, even if we were to put these labels directly on the pie chart, this is probably not a particularly useful representation of the data, certainly not in comparison to, say, our histogram that we had earlier. And so, when you have a large number of, of categories or classes, uh, doing pie charts is probably not the best idea.